Hey, how's it going guys? So, when is enough enough? When is it time to say, I gotta stop? So, stop what? So I'm in making a reference to training, okay? Um, because that's what I do. And there's times when you have to take a break, but it's to when, to know when to do it and for how long. I'm doing this video simply because yesterday um, I had to. On Wednesday, I got up early, as I do, and got my training in. Didn't feel great, and uh, the rest of the day wasn't feeling too good. So by the time the evening came along, I was uh, I was feeling like shit, to be honest with you. And I was like, right, am I coming down with something? Um, I said, right, I need to rest and recover. So I did some breathing exercises. I made sure that I was gonna get about nine hours sleep. Uh, I think it worked about eight and a half, half hours. Um, and I didn't go do my training in the morning. Well, to be honest with you, I was gonna go do it. And then I was saying to Olivia, I'm not feeling good. And I don't know how I'm gonna manage to get through my training that I've got in the morning. And she's like, oh, you shouldn't do it. Take your own advice. And uh, yeah, it's true. What I had to say to what would I tell someone else? And uh, as trainers or as athletes, this is the biggest problem. Making us train is no problem. I can train, I can train nearly dead. I've done it before. Um, I can force myself. The hardest thing is forcing myself not to train. It was super difficult, you know. Um, I didn't get up early in the morning. And then um, I had a little bit of movement during the day because I, I knew that I didn't want to train hard, but I needed to move. So I'd done about an hour's movements and, and, and uh, breathing, some kind of like martial arts movements and stuff. And then I uh, had a small break and then I did 40 minutes of breathing and yoga. So I didn't take a full break, but I took um, a break to, from the intense training that I'm doing and uh, it worked. You know, I made sure I then I ate really, really well during the day, um, had a good night's sleep, woke up today, poof, bang, back to normal. So these things are important. I think as you're, if you're a, a competitive athlete or a trainer, it's really, really hard. It, I found it very difficult in my mind, you know, I was there and I was thinking, maybe I'll just do this, maybe I'll do a little bit more. Um, and it, it's the hardest thing for me to do is to not train and I know, you know, if I if I miss a training session, it's um, it's something serious. But often, it's to know when is enough enough. And this is kind of it's it's a gauge. Um, if you're new to training, this is where your coach is going to help, um, and they'll advise you. Maybe you need to take the day off because sometimes we can be too hard on ourselves. That's that's me, you know. Um, I I know that I have one day rest a week, which I take off. I usually take off the Sunday, but the other days, you know, damn, it's hard for me to take a day off training because I have so much to learn. I have so much, like, I train a lot. Um, people say, why do you train so, so much, Mark? It's like, because I'm so shit at everything. You know, I have to train. I feel like I have to work, you know. I have to train my martial arts. I have to be studying. I have to be weightlifting. I have to be working the technique because it doesn't come natural to me. People say, oh, Mark, you're quite good at that. And I'm not. I'm, um, I'm naturally pre fairly shit. Um, and, I, and that's why I have to keep, you know, if, if, if some guy takes an hour to get it, it's going to take me five or six hours to get it so I have to put the time in but because of that that's where I, you know and I'm very competitive you know um, good is not good enough okay um, so I'm and I'm sure there's loads of people out there like that um, you know you're not going to become a high level athlete without being like that but you we have to know when to to hold and to pause and a lot of us aren't seeing our coaches regularly face to face anymore um, I'm seeing my athletes online through videos but I'm not seeing you face to face where I can have a look look how you're moving look at the color of your skin see how you're talking and then see, this guy needs a rest so you know if you're like me you have the program down in front of you I'm like I'm gonna get it done and for a lot of times maybe we need to be like that but you need to know when to say right I need to take a break if I didn't break yesterday, I would have gone and got the training done. I would have done. I've done it before, but I might have then felt worse today. And what took as a one day break could have landed up being a three, four day break. And we could think of it like that. Sometimes just taking that one session off where you do something different, some mobility, breathing. Very rarely do you have to do nothing, but just adapt it that it will 
get you back into training quicker. I do believe if I went and did the session that I had planned yesterday, I wouldn't have trained this morning. Today I did some heavy lifts um, and feeling good, feeling good now. I, I'm pretty sure if I trained yesterday morning, I wouldn't have done uh, to training today and, and tomorrow would have been suffered from, from it. So when is enough enough? You have to gauge, um, speak with your coach. If, you, if you're a, um, a seasoned athlete, then you should get this feeling. You know when it's time and it's the hardest thing I know. Um, it's, I'll go do a hard session easier than it will be for me to try to relax. But in the long term, you're going to be quicker getting back into training. And that's what I reasoned in my head was that I'm going to take today off doing it and I'll be back tomorrow and I'll be back Saturday. And I am. So guys, I hope that helps, gives you a bit of advice. Have a great weekend.